So some of you guys know that I have four different YouTube channels that I talk about four very different subjects and topics and just so many different things. So I thought it was time for me to make a video on separating the art from the artist. And many people have talked about this before. Because whenever somebody in any form of entertainment, whether it's like an actor, dancer, painter, musician, whoever, whenever they want to start talking about politics, get into society, just, you know, interact with the community, whatever, there's always somebody that will be counter to that and then want to boycott their art, which has nothing to do with what they're doing or thinking. Or even if somebody just says something really, really shitty or does something really shitty, you just automatically hate their art? I don't think that's really fair because there are some really great artists out there who do some excellent art, but they're just terrible people. So I can understand you saying, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear your thoughts, your philosophy on life, or whatever, but I enjoy your art. Let me see your arts. Let me share your art or whatever. And I can also sort of understand the other side that's saying, well, I don't want to give money to this artist to continue their hateful rhetoric or whatever but at the same time even if you say I don't want to give money I don't want to support this artist I still feel you can't say that their art is bad well what I mean is if you don't like the art you can say it's bad but if the art is actually good but you still don't like that person as a person or their philosophy their ideals their ideology or whatever you shouldn't put their ideologies on their art or their other work I just keep saying don't mix them and I've seen entertainers like most people know of Good Mythical Morning and the uh, hosts Rhett and Link because it's pretty much like YouTube's morning show uh, they have gone on other people's podcasts and stuff and uh, one of them is the H3H3 podcast with uh, Ethan Ethan Klein I had I, I saw their podcast and he just tried to get Rhett and Link to talk just a little bit of dirt on some horrible horrible people you know like that one dude uh I, f I forget his name but he you know took a a video of a dead body basically in suicide force in japan and then just started making jokes about it and decided to upload that video onto youtube he's done other horrendous things anyways ethan from the h3h3 H3 podcast was trying to get Rhett and link to just kind of say some bad things against it and the they just couldn't really fully complete the sentence kind of like I'm doing right now but even slower they just were trying to pick the words so carefully and so softly even though this person is terrible because when you get to a form a high form of entertainment where you want to be loved by everyone you can't just talk smack anymore you can't give your true thoughts your true feelings because people don't separate the art from the artist and i'm here telling you guys you guys do need to separate the art from the artist or at least try and then again with Rhett and link i remember another time when there was like the billionth school massacre school shooting here in the united states and so Rhett and link decided to make this little a letter basically and just put it up and Pretty much it was just saying, can we like stop this madness? Can we do something about it? They weren't even saying ban guns or anything. They were just saying, this is insane. We need to do something about it. And so many replies were like, don't talk about politics, stick to entertainment and all that nonsense. And I just think it is BS since they're American citizens as well. They have just as much of a right to talk about politics or anything. And just my overall point separate the art from the artist man and those are that's that's lights greats examples now i want to talk about a more darker example roman polanski which is supposedly a great great director one of the greatest directors ever is a child rapist everybody knows he's a child rapist and he will not come into the united states because he knows he will be arrested and prosecuted as a child rapist However, he's still an excellent director. His movies are excellent. You can watch the movies and be like, wow, this is great, and know nothing about the director and his personal life. That's what I'm saying. Enjoy that movie. Love that movie. Hate on that man, or whatever. And 
I, I kind of want to say uh, do some piracy, but no, I'm not. I'm not authorizing piracy, and I don't want to get sued. <laughs> so uh, basically, just take it on as a separate entity almost it's a totally different subject i understand this is the same person discussing these multiple subjects but just take it subject by subject basically and i not only separate the art from the artist i just really think people need to not be so close-minded because it's like once you know that one person might have a different opinion than you Sometimes they're just like, oh, you're not my friend. I don't want to hear about you anymore. Unfollow, unsubscribe, or whatever. And it's like we need more altering, differing opinions just to expand our minds and just to be like, hmm, I never really thought of it, thought of it that way, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I guess that's pretty much it. That's the end of my rant on this video about separating the art from the artist. So uh, feel free to leave a thumbs up if you like this video. <laughs> but uh, also leave a comment. Because I like to hear your thoughts on this whole subject. Roman Polanski, Rhett and Link, whatever, separating the art from the artist. Just, I want to hear other people's thoughts on it. And thanks for watching. See you guys later.